it started. <laughs> and I am an artist slash illustrator. I'm working right now on my next art show in August, so I sell prints and fabric and those kinds of things, which is whatever I feel like drawing. The first step into becoming an artist is practice, practice, practice. Keep a sketchbook with you at all times. Whenever you have a free moment, just start sketching. Find someone who's doing something similar to what you're doing. Ask them lots of questions. Ask them to critique your work, which is hard, but it's valuable. And take risks. Sign up to do things you don't think you can do and then figure out how to do it. Lots of things are digital now and digital art is really valuable, but learning how to do it in a non-digital way will just make your digital art even better. One of the things that computers can't do is be creative the way that humans can be creative. So I'd say more and more being an artist is going to be a really valuable career. you do is not who you are, but I think there are some roles or some careers or some whatever that like are so deeply woven into the fabric of who you are that you can't separate them. If I have a bad art day or if I try something and I fail, it doesn't make me less of a valuable person, but I think I was made to be an artist. If I don't do art, that's kind of tragic. <laughs> To be a good artist, you have to be pretty sensitive. If there's something that's not right in the world or in a relationship, we feel that first and that's hard and good. But from that, we get to make beautiful art. And so being sensitive is both a mutant weakness and a superpower that a lot of artists have that make life harder, but also more beautiful. The opposite of aesthetic is anesthetic. Anesthetic is like something that numbs you. So there's something about art and creating art and observing art that is the opposite of numbing, that makes us feel alive, that connects us, that helps us figure things out or understands better, it expresses feelings and emotions that we can't do in words. So art is really important. I think when you're a kid, you feel pretty strong in who you are. Like you dress how you want to dress, you do what you want to do, you act how you want to act, and then you kind of go through an identity crisis that sometimes lasts your whole life. But you start to become aware of what other people are doing or other people act, then you start to question your own idiosyncrasies and so I would tell my nine-year-old self as you go through life don't forget who you are. Things that you loved to do and the way that you loved to dress and the things that you imagined you would be when you were four, five, six. Keep doing those things. Mm -hmm. That's probably a good reflection of who you were made to be. So just figure out what the adult version of those are like and get really good at that. A brave artist isn't afraid to be vulnerable in their art. A brave artist takes risks and is willing to be vulnerable and even fail. And when they fail, they keep going. They get up and try again. If you're interested in art, go for it. The world needs more artists. Girls can be incredibly strong and beautifully gentle at the exact same time. Girls can be artists. 
girls can express themselves through art without fear of being vulnerable or fear of rejection. Girls can be brave.